Developing now a Chicago firefighter seriously hurt shot in the face. He was off duty celebrating a family member's birthday. One victim of a mass shooting in West Pullman that also killed a woman. CBS 2 Stephen Graves is live at the University of Chicago Medical Center and Stephen that firefighter is doing better. Jim, that's right. Thankfully, he is showing signs of recovery. Family telling me they have no idea why so many people were shot at a birthday party, but people who do business at that address where it happened say they have an idea why. It was a birthday party turned into horror. I can't get it out of my mind. Elishama Wright watching her brother, Timothy Eland, an off-duty Chicago firefighter, bleeding after he was shot in the face. Being on the ground and just blood gushing out of his face. Her teenage daughter watched another woman die, the 15-year-old later realizing she was also shot in the arm. I saw blood all over her and she said that she had been shot and then she fainted and collapsed in my arms. Wright says the party was wrapping up around 9.30 last night. Six people were hit near Kensington and Prairie in West Pullman as they walked to their cars. Chicago police think someone in a vehicle drove up and fired shots. We have no idea what or why they did what they did. If they just don't want nobody over here, nobody black, that's sad. Shamiki Gentry feels like this was yet another tactic to target black people and business. She rented out the space for the party, her business only here for months. Last February, CBS2 reported on car bombs that hit multiple people this is crazy. who live in this building. The landlord back then and still does blame gangs and black and Latino race tensions after a recent armed robbery. Robbing a young man and asking him what his gang affiliation was and some of the words that I was told was being exchanged about you guys not welcome here. When I say I'm literally kissing the to be to be their friend, it's territory, and that's, that's sad. And Gentry says she will leave now. Like, I really feel like it's my fault because it's my business. But Wright blames no one but the shooters, now hoping her brother, a city servant for the past two years, will pull through. My brother is like one of my babies, in a sense. You know, I used to change pampers, so it was really hard. But I'm still trying to stand strong. And all police will say is that they continue to investigate those incidents you just heard about there. No one in the neighborhood wanted to talk to us about those race relations when we asked. Police are still searching for the shooter in this mass shooting. Live here at the UFC Medical Center, Stephen Graves, CBS2 News. Jim. Stephen, thank you.